Welcome. I'm Dr. Justin Lin of Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. Today's edition, we're going to talk about ankle sprains. They happen all the time. So what do you really got to look out for? What do you have to know? Where should you go? And so I just want to talk about the ankle. So some of the anatomy and really some of the most important things to be conscious of is the four ligaments that surround our ankle. And so if they get torn, if they get, if you roll on it and you, and you hurt it, then a lot of things that happen here, you have some instability right here at the talus or the talus. And so depending on where your sprains are, you really want to be cautious getting off of it, icing, compressing with a ace bandage wrap, elevating are some of the best ways to immediately treat it. But what happens after that's all done? You're still limping, you're not having any weight bearing into that side, you could end up compensating and putting a lot of weight on the other side without you knowing. So a lot of that brain function up here starts to numb the, the signals to that side, whichever side you've twisted or, or, or sprained. So how do you integrate all those things back? And that's where neuromuscular re-education comes in handy. And this is where I would get in and start doing a lot of manual techniques to start pulling and holding and to re-emphasize that signal back up to the brain, to reintegrate it back into your body. So on top of that, we want to make sure everything's aligned, of course, and then trying to promote as much healing with thorough exercise, weight-bearing exercises, things like step-downs from stairs or, or curbs. So stay tuned. We have a, a live patient who just sprained her ankle, and we're going to talk about that a little further. Thanks. Rochelle, welcome to our health channel. Today, you're here with a sprained ankle. You sprained it yesterday sprinting. So we're gonna check out your ligaments and uh, try to get you a little bit out of pain. Uh, looks like you have a little bit of swelling, but not that much. So we're gonna check that out right now. Go ahead and lie on your back, please. So these are some important structures and we wanna test them out. You got the ligaments like I had pointed out in the earlier clip. Uh, these four I want to check out. So we're going to test this out and uh, see if uh, there's some discomfort and no discomfort. If there's some discomfort, it's a good thing because we know that the ligament is intact. And if the ligament's intact, then we will be able to, you know, kind of, kind of rehab her quickly. But if she doesn't feel pain and I just keep going, that means she probably tore her ligament. So we're going to check that out right now and see how that is. So if you want to test this ligament, you're going to go this way. How's that feeling? Good. Not very good. Okay. So that might be a little sprained, but it could be because of swelling too. It feels like it's intact because it pops into my finger right here. It kind of even pops out. You can even see it. Same thing here. How's this, Rochelle? Little. little worse than the last one? A little bit. A little bit? All right. So that one probably closer to maybe how she sprained it. Um, and, and what was sprained. So the back ones you want to jam and then you got to start rotating, see if this pops in, in my finger. So, and this one pops, but how's this pain on this side? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Still not as bad as this one? No. Okay, and then over here, we're going to check this one really out. How's that? Is that, is that the worst? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's probably the worst. So. You know, this is what we want to do. And just by looking, you know, this joint, her, her joint right here is not going up so much. So I know that this bone, this talus bone we spoke about earlier, isn't sinking every time she, so her, what happened is she, because it didn't sink back, she rolled her ankle and then, you know, because it was a stable surface. So this bone actually has to sink there. So what I'm going to do uh, for the next 10, 15 minutes is actually treat this and really, and we'll come back to it uh, to see if we can get a little bit more range. And then I'll show you some cool tape, taping techniques. Welcome back. 
So we spent about 10, 15 minutes trying to get this motion back. We got a little bit more. There's still probably some swelling inside, but at least we got to reduce it a little bit. Now we should get more range. She can walk out feeling a little bit better after we taper. But I got to re-educate her first, and this is the important stuff. So we got to hold this up. Okay, don't let me pull. And this is how we start reintegrating this back into our system, uh, just like I mentioned. So I'll probably do this for the next five minutes, and uh, we'll come back to it, and uh, then I'll show you guys taping. Welcome back. We're done with neuromuscular reeducation. So, Rochelle, how are you feeling? Great. Great. Okay, move this around, see how it feels. A lot more movement, more oh, like range. a, a lot more range than when she first walked in. But we gotta give her a little bit of stability, let that swelling calm down. We're gonna finish up with taping, and that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna show you guys this cool taping method, um, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, Rochelle. If this skin, if this tape irritates your skin, you're gonna feel itchiness, and you're gonna run run it under warm water. It'll probably last a couple of days, but that's exactly what we want. So, go ahead and point this up right there. All right, and then I'm just gonna tape you. It's like this. This is a really strong tape. It's called Luco tape. So, you can buy it on the black market. Just kidding. You can buy it on Amazon <laughs> um, or my clinic. So we're gonna sit that, we're gonna, so all that crazy taping that they do for athletes, way too much. We don't need that anymore, you know. Matt Kemp recently just injured himself. He needs something like this, um, Dodgers baseball player. Um, and I'm a big Dodgers fan, so you'll get a lot of Dodgers references for, for a long time. And so he could be up and running in minutes if I had gotten to him and, uh, and been able to just give him support where those ligaments were. That would have been quick and easy, but he's out two weeks, wasted more millions of dollars. And there you go. Let's see. It's gonna be fill, it's gonna loosen up a little bit, but go ahead. All right, she's gonna stand up now, okay? So just come here. Yeah, see how that feels. Like a brand new ankle, huh? Much better. All right. <laughs>